All right, we're gonna see how this trap door responds to these uh, this sheet lead after seeing what the uh, how the hollow base bolts did and the muzzle loader. I uh, I think they'll do just fine. But nonetheless, we're still gonna test it because for one, we've loaded the ammo and it's just fun to shoot. So the first loads, I'm gonna try five rounds with the. Uh, 35 grain charges. I'm gonna get some shots of me loading this thing in case some of you have never seen it. This thing does shoot high, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it to where the bullet will impact slightly left, and then uh, I'll move it to the right, and we'll shoot the next five with 40 grains. Take a look on the spotting scope. See that hit. All right, for those of you who've never really seen one of these in action, you know, I just fired it. Pull the hammer back. You can pull it back two clicks or full cock. You know, you got this is a three notch tumbler. They call it three notch. It's kind of like the safety. You can't open the action or anything. There's the half cock. You can work the action, but you can't set it off. And then there's full cock, which is ready to fire. One thing I really like about this one, it still has a lot of uh, a lot of color case on the uh, receiver. You don't see that too often. Anyways, I'm gonna put it on full cock, and then it's gonna spit this shell out pretty good. It just comes flying out of there. And you can see the the rim of the case hits this little teat right here, and just forces it right out. Now, before I shot a trap door, I thought you'd just lay it in there. And closed it. Well, that's, that's not how it works. Yeah, you take your case and you push it in there. The trap door's got a slight little camming action. If there's any resistance, the the door will help help close it. And uh, sometimes you, I see people closing them real gingerly and pushing down on this thing. The the way I do it, or I'd say the best way is just slam it down. That way everything's in battery because you don't want to shoot it. That thing's up a little bit. You don't want to shoot it. This uh, whole thing could come flying open. It could be catastrophic. All right. So once again, I'm a little surprised as to what's going on here. This was the 35 grain charge, and this was the group, or the charge rather, that the trapdoor used to love with the virgin lead. And this is the 40 grain charge with the X-ray room lead. So that's a man. That's a fantastic group. I don't think I've ever shot a group that tight. With this with the one flyer. I know with the one flyer that's about see, that size is about usual but it's probably I don't know inch and a half or so maybe around two inches. That's a typical for it with a five shot group with 35 grains of virgin lead. So since I got so much uh, scrap lead I'm just going to start using it and 40 grain, 40 grain load. Now we're going to go up to this top target and shoot some offhand and see what difference that makes. All right, I got my uh, got my 40 grain loads. They're going to shoot to the right. And I also forgot to mention, if you watched my other video on making the light loads for this, I mentioned in the video that I do not use the 41 number 41 or the 96 thousandths drill bit to open up the flash holes. Well, I was having problems when I was uh, shooting the full throttle loads, getting the cases mixed up. So I just went ahead and drilled all of them out with a number. 41, I think it's 41 drill bit or the diameter of it's 96 thousandths of an inch. That up, uh, once you do that though, I don't know if you'd want to shoot smokeless in them. Uh, this gun probably never will see smokeless, so I'm not really worried about it. Just light loads and then some full throttle loads of uh, black powder. All well, this thing will probably ever see. So let's see what we can do offhand. See my little, <laughs> had a little bit of flinch there.
Yeah, we'll just see what the groups look like, shall we? Let's run through this. I'm trying to catch the cases as they come out. I think I've gotten pretty good at it. that one. Probably shooting a little too fast for this kind of work. I really should slow it down. All right, here we go. This is the first group I shot with 40 grains, and I was going a little faster than I liked. I should have, uh, but nonetheless, it's actually not a bad group. If you take these four here, this is offhand. That's about an inch and three quarters with the flyer. You got three inches. That's still well enough to hit skirmish type skirmish targets, and that's shooting fairly fast, I guess. So then I, I did it again. I slowed down. Put another target up, and uh, it's not much better. Those three there are about an inch. And you got two that are a little high. A couple of them, I think the front sight was was right around in here when the shot broke. When I'm trying to hold down here. So. And here's the 35 grain loads. So they take up a pretty pretty wide space, which is consistent with what it did off the bench. So with this with this lead. I'm going to go 40 grains from now on. Since I got a bunch of it, like I said, I'll probably cast up a, oh, I don't know, 1,000 or 1,500 of them and have enough to last for a while. Now, I did make some gallery loads, what they call gallery loads. Uh, back then, it would have been a round ball, but I've got that. If you've seen my uh, video on the Moose revolver bullet, I put one in a 4570 case. What I did was I ran it through my 460 sizing die and lubed it because it comes out the top of it comes out at 460. Now they would have made gallery loads back then with round ball, 20, 25 grains of 3F. This has got 25 grains of 3F, which you know the powder only goes down to you know it comes up to about there. So I've got the rest of that with cream of wheat in there. So we're going to see what this does. We we'll put this on paper off the bench. Got high hopes for this. This could be a a great little planking load. Could be a good good load for black powder through the ages for skirmish targets. We'll see what happens. Okay, here's some interesting results. This is with the the moose revolver bullet. This is off the bench here. I was aiming down here. So over here, this one doesn't look very good, but offhand. These holes are already in that one somehow, but I was aiming down here. We got a few. I mean, it, I think it warrants uh, coming back, trying different loads. But we might we might be able to do something with this. The nice thing about it is it's, man, the recoil is nil. It's, uh, it's almost like shooting blanks. And that's with 25 grains, 3F, and uh, that bullet weighs 150 grains. So if I could get it into a group about like this, 50 yards, you know, that'd be a, be a tremendous uh, load for black powder through the ages or, or skirmish tar targets. Uh, but we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking. Get that down, get these down a little bit. I don't know where to go. Do I go higher, lower? We're going to, we'll try. We'll come back to this for sure. We're not done with this. We're going to figure this one out. All right, so it's. I don't know when I'll post this video, but it is All Hallows Eve. And in keeping with the spirit of that, I've got some pumpkins. Now, if you know, Hick I'm stealing this from Hickok 45. If you guys don't know who he is, shame on you. He's one of the most popular gun people on YouTube. So, I've got one round for my wad cutter. They come over here and they take all our land. We drink and we sing and we drink and we die. We have no hands. No, we have no hands. I 
I've never done this before, so it may pass through no harm or I make it drenched in pumpkin guts. Yeah. Let's go get the trap door, see what that does. Alright, let's uh let's try this 4570 out. I've got the, the buffing sight laid down. We're gonna use the battle sights for this. 35 grand loads, because I need to get rid of those anyways. Maybe this will be a bigger splash, maybe not. Let's see what happens. Huh. <laughs> you gotta see this, I never would have. I'll have to be there to believe this one. So there's what a, a little pea shooter of a load will do right there for you. Went right through the stem of that thing. I guess that I just obliterated the stem. Just uh, went right through it. You can see daylight through it. Now there's the back of it. Let me go get the musket. I'm gonna do this one right. All right, let's try this again. Get copper. My watch cutter. That's better. Let's have a look at it. Hey! 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 I love the smell of that black powder smoke. There's the first one. And then the second one's kind of scattered all over the place. <laughs> 